Hey guys, how's it going? Harpen here, back again with another episode of Adventure Time Legends of Ooh. It's been a little bit, it's been a little bit, not gonna lie to ya. Whew. I also want to uh, apologize in case the game audio is too quiet or too loud because I'm recording this a little bit differently. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's continue with episode two, Library of Doom. Library of Doom. I barely remember what I'm supposed to even be doing. I know I needed to get a bunch of stuff so I could get a library card so I could check out Lumpy Space Princess's book, but I don't remember what side mission we're on now, unless we're back on the regular one. Who knows? Just tap the screen. I literally have no idea. Oh yeah, uh, most people seem to have wanted me to read all the books, so I guess if I end up in there, I'll read the books. Ah, I just wish I knew what I was supposed to be doing and I don't want to waste a hint. The snails seem to be precious in this level. Should I just talk to the, uh... Let's see, where can I go? Oh boy. I really don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess we're gonna have to go for it. I'm, I just feel so bad. I gotta hint this up. Maybe someone in the library can help you find the rest of the items. Of course. That makes perfect sense. How about you? Why the long face, hero? Oh, hey, Pete. I'm trying to renew my library card, but I still have a whole list of items to find. Fear not, noble giant. Follow my four pagelings through the paper labyrinth to the secret entrance to the Cave of Mystery. What? Who it? Wow. I just... I'm having... I'm having a brain fart. I gotta go through this. You must hurry and find the pagelings. Okay, so I'm assuming I'll walk back out here and find some little pagelings, whatever that means. I must hurry and find them. Pagelings, where art thou? I don't see a gosh darn thing. Hmm. This must be some sort of super secret evil formula. Nah, dude, I think it's a cookbook. Well, this is. Hmm. Someone's been reading Drop Ball, a minute to learn, a lifetime to master. Or all these great, uh, pagelings. Man. I'll go back outside and see if they're out there. Watch, I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning and it's gonna be like, right in front of my face. Run back. All right. Jeez, I really didn't think it'd be that hard to uh, figure out, but. Should I be clicking around the room? Princess has an orthopedic back pillow. Because she's... There's a note here. Previous location of Turtle Princess's super secret diary. At least she's well organized. You must hurry and find the pagelings. I just don't know what that means. I feel like an idiot. I guess I'm gonna have to read all the books. Maybe they're in the books. Fiona and the Cake... Fiona and Cake by Ice King. That's it? Okay. Fiona and Cake were busy helping Prince Gumball hang decorations for the biennial gumball ball when suddenly the evil Ice Queen crashed through the wall with her super sweet ice powers. Ice Queen was sick of Fiona always ice blocking her game and totally keeping all the babes for herself. She harnessed the power of an awesome slush beast and went after Prince Gumball. Cake turned into a morning star and Fiona used her to smash the ice queen to bits. Prince 
Gumball asked Fiona to go out with him and they agreed to meet an hour later in the castle gardens. I just got a text. I'm going to check it real quick. Uh, I'm going to try to keep playing and ignore my phone. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to just reread this page. Prince Gumball asked Fiona to go out with him and they agreed to meet an hour later in the castle gardens. At the garden, they meet up with Prince Gumball and Lord Monochromicorn and have a totally romantic time together. But aha! It was the Ice Queen pretending to be Prince Gumball the whole time. Fiona tries to use a, a crystal ice sword but that was a trick played by the Ice Queen and is just a ball of ice. Fiona is able to knock off the Ice Queen's magic tiara, making her lose her powers. Fiona then punches her for yank yanking on her heart guts. Prince Gumball asks her on a date, but Fiona isn't interested. Instead, she'd totally do anything to date the Ice King. Everyone agrees that the Ice King is a real is the real deal, and all starts and all start praising the Ice King. The end. I guess that's pretty much what we could have expected from There's the Ice no King's either. previous location of Look. Turtle Princess. At least she's well. Okay, we already did that one, guys. Come on. The Royal Tart. In the Kingdom of Wu, there is a galaxy of flavors, but only one taste sensation amazing enough to kill for: the Royal Tart. Royal tarts are very rare. They're only eaten at the most sacred gathering in Ooh, the annual back rubbing ceremony. The tart is so legendary that countless thieves will risk their lives just for one bite. Is that it? Alright. A Brief History of Billy. Chapter 7, The Rescue of Cotton Candy... What? what? Hmm, okay. Chapter 7, The Rescue of Cotton Candy Princess. <laughs> Billy is the greatest warrior the Land of Wu has ever known. When the Fire Count captured the Cotton Candy Princess and brought her back to his lair in the Fire Kingdom, Billy used his heroic gauntlet to slay the evil Count. I bet that's what I have in my inventory. The Fair Damsel was so grateful she offered Billy a lock of her hair. Chapter 8, Billy fought a bear. It was a giant bear. Okay. Thanks. Dungeon DIY. Jake, the Ice King must be up to something. One quest at a time, pal. I feel like, uh. Was that everything up there? Must have been. Oh, sweet. This way, quickly. Oh, geez. That was cool. Oh, there's another one. Psst, over here. Oh, my God. You guys. I just read this book, so sorry if I'm just paging through. Ah! Follow me! You guys are not taking me anywhere I haven't been already. The fry song. Daddy, why did you eat my fries? I, I bought them and they were mine. But you ate them. Yeah, you ate my fries and I cried, but you didn't see me cry. Daddy, do you even love me? <laughs> well, I wish you would show it because I wouldn't know it. What kind of dad eats his daughter fries and doesn't even look her in the eyes? <laughs> Daddy, there were tears there. If you saw them, would you even care? Fisherman song. You look so cute sitting in your boat. I want to suck out your eyeballs and rip out your throat. I want to suck out your eyeballs and rip out your throat. This is really graphic for a kid's game. Not just your little girl. I know you just want to give your little girl the world, but Daddy, I'm not just your little girl. I got my own life. I got my own plans. I hope you understand and like the way that I am. Because I want your respect and I want to be here but I don't want to rule the Nidosphere. Fair enough. Raina Cornucopia, the unabridged history of the Rainicorns. I think I read this book already. <sighs> Rainicorns are drawn to the to be companions of princesses and other royal. <laughs> Rainicorns have the power of flight and can soar through the ether. This is due to their bodies intercepting beam beams of reflected light. A rainicorn's horn is incredibly powerful and has the ability to change the color of anything. The great rainicorn dog war was fought between dogs and rainicorns over control of the crystal dimension. The conflict raged on for thousands of years. Okay. This must be some sort of. Oh my God, where? Nah, dude, I think it's... Okay, where's this great thing I'm supposed to be finding? Someone's been reading Drop Ball. Someone's been reading. 
Teddy Bear Joke Book Volume 3, Grin and Bear It. Teddy Bear Joke... Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where they're leading me. This is obnoxious now. Where am I supposed to go, guys? I was led to this room. Marceline's Greatest Hits, The Fright. Nope, that's the one we just read. Oop. The Cave of Mystery is right through here. Holy cannoli, guys. I think I might wrap this video up there. That was uh, that was pretty intense. I'm gonna pick up the snail though. Extra hint. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it took so long for me to start recording more again. I'm gonna try to get these up regularly again until the game is done. I assume that won't be too much longer. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you want to. Like it if you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I just got another text. Okay, bye. <laughs>